If you haven't seen this Little Depressed Creatures video on the League of Legends page, then go check it out right now, it's amazing. To counter Imumu, pick someone like Shivana who can ult him away from her team if he's about to engage. Lee Sin can also kick the hell out of him as well, and Shaco can invade him and abuse his weak early game to make him useless. Vi for her Q and armor penetration, Warwick for his fear, and Kha'Zix for his jump and invisibility make other good counters as well. Imumu's passive curses enemies Yaros for 3 seconds, refreshing after every single auto. Enemies affected take 10% true damage from all magic damage sources. His Q makes him toss bandages and enemies and flings himself at a target if he hits it. His W is a toggle ability that makes him cry and deal magic damage to all nearby enemies. His E passively makes him take reduced physical damage, which is why some people may wish to max this first, and its active makes him deal magic damage to nearby enemies as well. Its cooldown gets reduced per every basic attack he takes, including from his jungle monsters. Finally, his ultimate makes him deal damage in a large radius round him, and also entangles all targets in the area affected for 2 seconds. As you can see, this little guy has a lot of AoE damage, and can take a beating to get to the center of a fight, and ult the enemy team entirely. In terms of spells, being the jungler that he is, he'll almost definitely take Flash Smite and any other combo is a waste being that he can just use the Flash to Flash ult your entire team. You are going to be jungling as well, so take whatever combo with Smite you feel like suits your champ. As for Power Spikes, as I said before, he has a really hard time in the early game and his early camps really bring his health down quite a bit, so inventing him might be a good option to consider. Level 3 is when he may start to gank, but most of them might want to grind it out to 6 so that they can have a greater impact in the lanes. Cinderol can chant works really well as with every champ, but this one's stickiness makes it take the crown even more. Also, Abyssal Mask is perfect for him as he does suffer mana issues if he doesn't have blue. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, his Q is a good engaging and also running away tool if he uses it on a minion or monster. He wastes a lot of mana if his W is active for a long time, so look for it and engage if he gets manaless. And if he misses a Q, he'll have no way of getting back to the fight unless he flashes, so wait for him to miss it and then kick him and his team's ass. Ultimately, have fun doing it.